Let's take a quick look at the new gap tool in InDesign CS5. I'll switch to the gap tool here in the tools panel. And as I hover over gaps in the page, which is essentially white space between page edges and objects or between objects themselves, the gutter between these images, the gutter between the captions and the images, things like that, I get this cursor change and directional arrow that allows me to manipulate the white space between those objects. If I come in here in this little narrow channel right between these images, you'll see I get a gap indication between the far left edge of the page and the far left edge of this random travels text frame. If I want to adjust that spacing, increasing the gap as it were between the left edge of the page and that frame, I click, hold, and drag to the right, and I increase that gap and resize that object while I'm doing it. I'm going to actually just move it to about here, give myself a little bit more space. And let's see what happens as I employ the gap tool in other parts of this layout. Right now this grid is pretty static, all the images are the same size. If I put my cursor between the vertical gap here, you can see that the gap extends all the way through the captions, the top row of images, the second row of images, and the captions at the bottom. If I click hold and drag to the left, I resize all of them simultaneously along that gap. Drag to the right, and I resize all of them in that direction. You'll notice that a number of these images are resizing within the frame as I do this, and that's because I'm also using this feature in combination with Auto Fit, which is turned on for all of these frames. I'm going to undo that, and I actually want to arrange these gaps somewhat differently. I only want to deal with the gap between these top two photos. So I'm going to put my cursor between the two, hold down the shift key, then click and drag to the right, and I just change the gap between these two images on either side of the gap tool. That looks about right, so I'll just let go there. And then I'll do the same thing down here, put my cursor between these bottom two images, hold down the shift key, and I'm going to drag to the left and give this sort of an opposite orientation. And that's already looking better. The captions, you'll notice, did not resize this time because that shift modifier only works on the two objects closest to the cursor. But I can quickly come up here now to the gap between these captions and just click and drag to the right and keep an eye on my smart guides so that I know that everything lines up. I'll do the same thing down here with the gap on the bottom, drag those to the left, and that's all lined up perfectly now too. I've already got a much better looking layout than I had before.